Oh, oh, isn't that the worst? Grandparents just left and we have a bunch to do today. Let's get to it. Okay, starting off with the easy stuff, we're gonna put these clothes where they belong. Now we're gonna get the clothes that I left in the laundry last night to dry. We're gonna go get those. All right. Now we gotta fold them. Now we gotta fold all of the clothes from yesterday. This shouldn't take too long. It's just shorts. Next, we gotta get dressed and we'll do recycling and mow the lawn. Perfect. Now I gotta get some shoes on. Okay, so here are the normal shoes selections. I have, uh, if I'm wearing something else that's blue, these kind of match them. These are the newest of the new. They're all still nice and white. We've got these, which are the ones that used to be the new ones, but now they're kind of become the old ones because the old ones were too old and the black ones are just awesome because they are. And so, whoo, right here, right here. Are the old of the old. Whoa, man. Look at those. So here's the old of the old, the medium old, and then the new, new. Like, isn't that crazy? Same shoe, same everything, just a lot older. All right, so since we're on the lawn, we'll use these bad boys. Got a bunch of recycling, we need to take this out and all five of these. See if I can get them in one run. Can I hold it with one hand? I mean, it's not one hand, but it's one arm. Now I just gotta figure out how to get out the door. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to clean the floors a little bit. I think we're gonna vacuum them before we go out and mow the lawn. And see, I was sweeping up the other day. You know, I was walking with my uh, just bare feet and you can feel a bunch of stuff. So I swept just a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and vacuum. Okay, it looks like it's all clogged up. So we are going to try to fix that problem and get those wheels spinning. I think it's just that this is all filled up. So I, I hope that's a problem because I don't know what to do with fix that. Okay, so there, there's gotta be a way. So see this stuff right here? I cannot get to this. This thing right here does nothing, no matter. So even if I, it's like it wants to come up. Come on. Maybe? Hold on. No, that's just the bottom. Dang it. It's like it wants to come up so bad. See, right there. It's like it wants to come up, but it won't. And I don't know if y'all have ever cleaned out somebody else's vacuum. Even though they're my grandparents, it, it's not my dirt. So it's gross. <laughs> uh, that it just, bleh. I don't know how to get this thing open either. And I don't wanna just 
I don't want to break it. I don't want to rip it apart and it break and then we can't use the vacuum. There's a little bit of suction coming out of the bottom. The things still don't rotate. Dude, I thought I was gonna get sweaty from, uh, from mowing. I'm getting sweaty from freaking cleaning out the vacuum. Ah! Got it, I got it, I got it. It was this stupid button right here. Oh, oh. Well, isn't that the worst? Well, I got it open. Dang it, oh man. Mm. Dang it. It was just the stupid button. I knew it came off. I knew it. I knew it. All right, now I got to clean up this mess. Mm. Finally got that mess cleaned up. Let's get to what I actually wanted to do and clean the floors. <laughs> Woo! Wow, I'm going to have to move my hands. Okay, there we go. I think we got pretty much everywhere. I got the spinners to roll, so I I did two carpets. Didn't do them all uh, because we have a lady that comes out and hangs out with grandma, so grandpa can go out and do stuff. And uh, she she vacuums, but since the vacuum was all clogged up, probably wasn't doing too much. So when she does it next time, it'll do it much better, but I just went ahead and did it. And uh, whew, I did it, broke sweat. Uh, it's about 61 degrees out too, so it is a little, it is a little warm out. So uh, next on the agenda, we've got mowing the lawn. And I have, I've never used this lawnmower, so uh, that's gonna be fun to try to figure out. Shouldn't be too hard. I just gotta find the gas, and hopefully there is some gas down there for me to fill it up, so. Woo, what a day. I love getting stuff done. Let's keep going. Now, where is that gas? Ooh. Nope. Uh, a little bit. And none. Okay. It's about right there. Not bad. And this is what we have to mow next. That's thick. Finished up mowing the lawn, got everything cleaned up and just sitting on the porch right now and relaxing. And I'm about to go in and eat some donuts that grandpa brought. And they're green, which is awesome. Uh, Cause it's St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. Ah, beautiful day. Look at this, it's green box and everything. Boom, green donut. Oh my gosh, so green. And it tastes exactly the same. What's up guys? I've got my hat on, got, the, I love it when the, the hair comes out on the sides, got my water bottle and mm, tripod in the bag, and it's time to go Ubering. For today, I still have to get milk and bread because I am fresh out and I'm not sure how long Ubering's gonna go today, but I really hope it is, we stop before 11 because that's when Food Lion closes. <laughs> and last night I wasn't able to get anything because I was home at like, I, I think I was driving home at 11 and got home at like 11.15. So I, I really need to get some of that stuff because just ham and pretzels. I need a little something else. Uh, but uh, just said bye to grandma and grandpa. They were sitting out on the porch. 
because it is a beautiful day. It's 74 right now. Sun's going down. Mm. Okie dokes. I I'm not gonna too, do too much uh, updating with Uber because y'all have y'all seen enough of that for for the week. So hopefully you'll just see me at home getting ready to watch the game. I just went into a little Vietnamese place and the sweetest girl helped me out. Um, she came back to me and said, did you order such and such? And then I showed it to her and she was like, oh, okay. And she got my order and she was like, here you go, have a great night. And I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Um, those like Mexican restaurants, Vietnamese places, little shops like uh, family shops kind of thing are always ready they they always have the orders ready they they are amazing and then you get like multi-billion dollar companies multi-million dollar companies whatever that they don't care one bit and it takes you 20 minutes they're not ready dude those little small places they're so underestimated and you know they're holes in the wall and i've never been there i didn't even know that place existed i'm sure it is deli i mean it was packed it was full of, well, I, Vietnamese people, because <laughs> it was Vietnamese food. Uh, but man, uh, I've actually written some of the places down and that I want to go. There was a Chinese place over by Oberlin that, that looked really good, and it was like in a house. It was pretty cool. So maybe one day I'll go, I'll hit up some of these places that I've been. For now, it's about 7.40. I'm cranking out orders, and... Uh, <laughs> I'm so excited. I already had someone say, go pack for uh, the game tonight against UNC. Woo! Looks like we got a bit of partying going down here at downtown. Uh, getting ready to go into the ale house. Uh, here, I'll show you in just a sec. Everyone's wearing green too. There's two minutes left and we're up by like nine. Come on! Oh my gosh, we have a chance! Come on! They put the, what? We did it. We won. We won the ACC championship. 84 to 76. I can't believe it. I, I cannot believe it. We won five in a row. I, I am in disbelief. We haven't won this since, here I'll look it up, since 1987. Job's done. Job's done. You can say job's not done and that we're going to go on in seven more games and win the NCAA tournament. <sighs> Let's just stick with our win right now. Oh my gosh. ACC champions. Is this what it feels like? Is this what it feels like to be Duke and UNC every time they win, which it feels like every year? We did. And we beat Duke and UNC. Two top ten, two top ten teams. Oh my gosh, I am just, I mean, it, it's crazy, crazy. Okay, <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, let's sink in. No, oh yes, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. And I mean, we didn't just beat them we beat them <laughs> by eight points we didn't mess it up we didn't mess it up we did not do the epic fail that we normally do we did not fall apart we actually played well and won <sighs> my gosh that's crazy all right well uh ubering was ubering was fine 
did a lot of, I felt like I did a lot for a little amount of money. Uh, I did 12 trips today and I got, I made, oh gosh, what was it? It was like $69 and something cents. So that was a bummer, but I did get to see some parties as y'all could see. That was pretty interesting. They were, it, I, it's St. Patrick's weekend. I thought since it was St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow that the parties would be tomorrow, but I was wrong. It's St. Patrick's weekend. So uh, that was pretty cool to see. Music was bumping. And other than that, I'm going to go to bed happy. Night, guys. See you tomorrow.